Hello and welcome to another edition of Tales for Wales, the pod that never fails to entertain, enthrall, inform, another word beginning with E or an I, Educate. I don't know. Educate, yeah. Basically, good shit. Um, <laughs> Elevate? Elevate. I really had a stroke trying to think of that word then. Elevate Welsh history in the psyche of the world, in the zeitgeist yeah. of the world. It's a German word, so we should say something else, like oh, the, man with the, the brain of the world. Yeah, there we are. Keep to our Welsh roots. Okay, long-winded intro aside, <laughs> as usual, uh, I'm Jack. I'm joined by my, my buddy, my mate of many a year, many a moon, Old it Franco. a very good year. We drank some very good beer. And we won't tell you what we're talking about today until we finished uh, our little bit of banter at the start, because it's a little bit <laughs> so different. So prescriptive. <laughs> it's so prescriptive. Okay, we're going to have a bit of banter up top. Um, <laughs> that's yeah, such a listen, my, I like my fun organised, yeah. I like it <laughs> regimented. Okay, okay. So can we start having banter around about now? No, you've got to wait until what we declare banter is over. Then we can start having the informative bit. That's how we operate. That's how we always have. Um, basically, I don't. If, if people don't like the sound of it, I don't want them to turn off already at this point. I want to get those those sweet fucking analytics. Yeah, it's a bit of a diff episode, isn't it? Because obviously, I think it's episode five yeah. or four of episode of series two. Uh, episode three, mate. Episode three, season mm. two, and we um, oh. and neither of us could be. No, it's episode four. Episode do... four. We done Knapan Creek Mauer, um, long knives. I oh, guess. you are right. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> all right. You're the king. I'm the <laughs> fucking doesn't class peasant. As a I get it. This isn't the banter up front yet. <laughs> yeah, do not start the banter counter yet because this has not begun. All right. <laughs> but yeah, no, we uh, it's a bit different this time. But uh, neither of us could be bothered to do any big research this weekend, could we? So, <laughs> no, I've been so I'm tired as fuck, and um, uh, I'm, I'm going to put it out there already. I feel rough today. I feel like I got. A bit of a, I feel a bit queasy and sick, but then Jack did point out I just demolished a kebab the size of my dog. It is, it was so I hate honestly off, like less than four minutes. If the listeners could hear what I just heard before this, like going like oh, I feel a bit ill, and I was like oh no way mate no why what's going on? He went oh well, I, like like a kebab the size of my fucking leg in about <laughs> five minutes. I've just down two pints <laughs> to catch pints up with you, and I was like yeah. I, I was like, yeah, no wonder you feel a bit fucking <laughs> delirious, man. That's not normal. I had to take my uh, my fiance to uh, to Jack's house actually. <laughs> we cuckold mm. now. I <laughs> so we're having an affair. Yeah. No, I had to take my missus. Not to, so discreet one <laughs> to Jack's house because Jack's missus having all the girls around, and it was rainy and like I've had a really bad headache. I think I've been on the screen too much today for work, and uh, my eyes are like really tired. I had this in lockdown where like. I just felt a bit sick and I feel a bit horrid. So not it's very the blue nice. light, mate. The blue sickness, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the sickness got me. But then I was driving there and I had a banging headache and horrible. And I pulled up outside my house, which is opposite Kebabi, which is fucking lethal. And I went in there. I was like, "Oh, all right, mate. <laughs> I'm not very well. Give me your biggest kebab you got." <laughs> <laughs> I like to think he, he took one look. He went, I, "I'll get you. I know what to get you, mate. I know, <laughs> I know what to what get you, you boy." And then I came back into the house and I had some carlins ready for me for tonight for our pod. And I, yeah, I knew you were three pints deep, so I had to just fucking chin the first one, and then I halfway chin had the second. To, had to chin them. <laughs> <laughs> I even said to you, ah, three pints, mate, what is it? You know, and you were like, no, I'm doing it. <laughs> Equals, peoples. And uh, yeah, so I, and I chinned the second. I'm, I'm about, I got about a gulp left of the second one. And then, no, I had a gulp left of the second one, got rid of that. And then the third one had just gone down very quickly. <sighs> I hate to imagine what's going on in your fucking gut at the yeah, moment. My Jesus Christ. Stomach is in turmoil. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I was saying, I'm going to be healthy oh, yeah. from next week because um, we came up from your stag, which we might talk about in another episode because tonight's going to be quite chat heavy. Mm. But um, I ate eight hash browns in like a, a tw- less than a 12 hour period and had more pints than was godly and just ate and drank all weekend. <laughs> in shock car, I put weight on this week and I was like, oh, what's that about? I've been going to the gym. Really disappointed been, in yourself yeah. and you're like, how has this happened? <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. So I'm going to, I'm going to, from next week, new new week, new me, I'm going to be an Adonis. Mate, I'm thinking the exact same thing because um, uh, the Monday uh, after I came back from the stag, I was in that class. I was like, 
why'd you always do this to yourself? You're a fucking disgrace. You've ruined your... You, all you do is poison yourself and ruin everything. And then, like, come Thursday, you were texting me going, like, oh, I'm jonesing for a beer. I was like, oh, me too, mate. <laughs> Straight back on the classic Thursday rebound. Yeah. I love it. But I'm going to stop next week. I, I don't mind the boozing, but I'm going to be healthier. I'm just going to back off from having secret... Like, I'll take... I'll say to Emma after work, oh, I'll just pop to the shops and get her some stuff for food, and I'll get myself a sneaky bag of crisps and walk home. I'll pop in, get oh, some no. frazzles. What's a frazzle between friends? But they all... Have to, <laughs> exactly. They all... No, I'm doing the same thing, mate. I've got my... I've had a gym prolux in my little room for God knows how long, and it's just gathering dust. That? I'm going to... It's like a fucking... You're like a bar, it's got like oh, uh, everything resistance it, bits yeah. to it. And you can do, apparently you can do every exercise in the world with it. I only know how to do like I love know, three. Gimmick, don't you? You love being swimming. Well, the thing is, I was thinking, snakesman. there's no gyms around me, so I can't go in. So I was like, right, I'll make my home my gym. Yeah. The problem with that is, I like to be able to take off my home hat, put my gym hat on, <laughs> and in a different area. Yeah, but and you also work If home. I'm in my home, yeah, exactly. If I'm in my home all the time, then it's not a gym, is it? So I don't bother working out. So um, I'm going to try and do stuff like that, and I'm not going to have those extra biscuits yeah, on my tea breaks that's anymore. What it is. You know? It's, it's not out. the 10 pounds of curling I'm going to have tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. Cu- I'm not cutting out the fucking scallops. But the thing is, I've always had lots of beer, and it's been fine. But now, as getting older, you got to make a, the pick and choose. So next Friday, I'll have <laughs> you got to ten- start making allowances <laughs> elsewhere in your life for the beer. I'll have 10 pints next Friday. But I'll have no kebab, and I'll have. And my partner, she loves the healthy food, so we'll have salad and in the week as well. We like, I have, you know, chicken and veg, chicken and rice. Go to the gym four times a week. Play football once a week. Mate, I did say me and you were the, the pinnacle of fucking nutrition in the in the week. <laughs> yeah, but God help me, Friday I night. I wouldn't say that, but God, the, yeah. the weekend just curtails everything. The Scotch egg with a fucking wristle chaser thrown down with some oh, fucking you kebabby. Have... Funny you should mention the Scotch egg. <laughs> when I was getting uh, supplies just then, I was like, right, well, I might as well get, you know, food and shit and my drink for tomorrow for my day, my, my day on my own. <laughs> I only went past the bloody Scotch egg bit oh, and I was like, I'm having one of them. Fucking haven't had one of you in a long time. Thank you very much. I've just had the, uh, I've cracked the fourth pint now. Yeah. Oh, mate, you're fucking steaming through. Yeah. So, what else have you been up to? Any other shenanigans? No, mate, I was just going to say about the recovery from the stag, basically. It was just, um, it was it was biblical. It was yeah, rough. It was a tough... It was well, a... It, the, the, the actual time was great, but the, the afterwards, my God, yeah. the, the poison running through my veins. The fucking, honestly, not to turn our viewers away, but the fucking tar coming out of me <laughs> on bloody... Uh, the day after I got back, it was it was ungodly. Like a fucking someone who works in the fucking sewers would have turned down fucking going in there after me. <laughs> I, I came back and I um my when I'm ever, ever hungover, I just want to be with like my girlfriend and just be like, look after me. I become this weak, pathetic little slug of a man. And I, I honestly there's a, there's a genuine groove in the sofa from where I just killed up and hid for about twenty four hours. <laughs> Um, have you? It was yeah. Should we good reveal times. to the uh, the audience what what the plan is for today? Should I give everyone a yeah, heads up? Right then. So go on then. You um, let them know what we're doing. Now we've hit <laughs> series two, and we've got our kind of core uh, group of listeners to begin with. And um, we thought we'd do a introductory, a getting to know me, a getting to know you of each other, so you get to know a little bit more about us as hosts of the show. Um, and I, I'm sure you've already, you know, we've been, what, we 13, 14 episodes deep. But we thought we'd do a little um, d- a look back into the stories that shaped. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It, we're, we're just going to, we'll bring it down. We're, we can be fucked to do a proper episode. So we're going <laughs> to talk about each other's. So like, you're stuck with this, all yeah, right? Yeah, you're stuck it. with this. And it's going to be more <laughs> anecdotal. We both picked, like, two or three stories we like about the other person that we think help paint a picture as to who we are and what we're about. Um, I'm sure, I haven't seen what yours are, but mine are detrimental and character assassinations. So I, I Yeah, a couple of mine are not, don't paint them in the best light. Some of them are all right. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, and yeah. I, I will veto, also, I, I will heavily veto anything that criminalises or... Yeah, well, it's the, the power of post-production and it? it's a... Uh, I did have one story in my mind. I might say it to you later and just cut it out completely, yeah. but... Well, I'm going to say I, one I know word now. That one out and I'm gonna... Hi, Lee Ho, neighborinos! Was going to be making an appearance. 
uh, oh yeah i was gonna I, I say um, you know that time you called um Finally, ho, neighborinos! Oh, yeah, we can cut that as well. <laughs> okay. should, we, should we keep these in and beat okay, those bits okay. out or what? I won't say mine if you don't say yours. <laughs> yeah, there we go. A truce between men. A truce between men. And if you want to know what we just I like about. that. If we, let's, let's just beat those out and then that'll just. Yeah. The, the, um, the mystery will drive the fan base. This over, whole yeah. episode will just be redacted. It'll just be beep, 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 beep. Also, I listened yeah, to your episode. Just be elevated music all the way through it. <laughs> I listened to the episode of Clapan where you try to beep. You fucking didn't beep the bank very well. You, you can hear half the word from the bank. Someone mentioned it to you. My friend who listened to the pod, Luke, he was, was like, he was like, yeah, you can tell what bank it is because you don't beep it. And then the beep you Does use. It go beep? Finally, home. Don't do it Doesn't again. <laughs> well, that's why I can beep it later, can't I? Like, I'm good at it, apparently. <laughs> also, your beep was too loud. It was like, beep! <laughs> Jesus, it was too loud a beep. Uh, it really caught Stars. me off guard. So we got to find a new, a new redacted button, which I think will feature heavily tonight. Yeah, I, I gotta say, so. mate, I felt really um, rough here, yeah, and I'm, I'm loving life again. It's either the four pints. Mate, of when you get into the swing, of it, swing of it, it's, it's great, and mm. a bit of Carl, a bit of me, <laughs> what you want. I was gonna say as well. Any little fucking nerds that come at us and go, this isn't Welsh history. <laughs> Guess is. what? We're Welsh. Yes. And we're telling you some history about us, all right? So it's technically Welsh yeah. history. It might not be the most famous, all right? But it's Welsh history, so fucking get on board. Very enjoy clever. it. That's very, very clever. Um, so I've got my notes up, so I've just taken a bit of time to load there. Um, and I realise it's fucking left half the notes aren't. But I should, uh, sometimes you can overplan these things. Um, can I start with mine then? I'll start with my first. Uh, go on, you go anecdote. first. Right? Um, so Jack, right, to give you a flavour of the man, he once went to a job interview. I, mean, I just said to point down here, you are much better as a cook now. You are a really, like, decent cook now. But when, for years, Jack wouldn't add sauce to any of his food. For the reason, why Why didn't you add sauce to your food? <sighs> because I, <laughs> I have a wet mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I like that I still get to laugh at you boys it's to this day. Mental. I mean, <laughs> when I told Emma, I do have a wet mouth. My, my, my fiance is a chef and uh, she's phenomenal at cooking, but she takes it quite seriously. You know, she loves it all. And <laughs> so, you know, Jack won't touch. If they give him a burger that has like lettuce and stuff on it, he gets, and mayo, he gets so upset. He goes, For fuck's sake, I swear not to have anyone. You'll scrape it <laughs> off and you'll like, you'll do anything not to have it on there. It'd be really hard. Heartbroken, and his, his reasoning just a vacation is always. I've got a wet mouth. I don't need a wet sauce. I just don't need it. I'm a I'm a purist. If I want a burger, I want bread, it's burger, you. bread. You'd have like just pasta and chicken, or like just pasta with nothing else with it. Um, Rice and chicken. I used to have not yeah. pasta. I'm not a fucking animal. <laughs> but um, <laughs> and, I did use. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> the boys used to make fun of me and uh, when I used to live with them because I'd be going, right, I'm cooking rice anyway. From I was going to make my own um, chicken fried rice. Mm. So I'm like, right, I'm cooking rice. I'll pop the peas in there because they're all boiling together. And then I just thought one day, I went, we'll just chuck the chicken in there as well, isn't it? Uh, and then it's only one pan when you have one pan to, to, to clean. Yeah, I mean, it did the job. I never <laughs> got ill or anything. But, I mean, but they were saying, are you in fucking World War One? <laughs> yeah, boiled no, chicken. <laughs> People in the trenches has better scram than that. <laughs> you also, yeah. you're a big, your, your, uh, yeah, your, your palate back then, should we say, was pretty, pretty bog standard, wasn't it? It was not, not like, not, nothing. I used to have an attitude though. to food. It was, it was you know, fuel. it was like fuel is, uh, yeah, food is fuel, and it was like just shovel it in, and you know, so I don't die. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I enjoy good food. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. No, you but it was do. like, can I be bothered to make now. myself? And you, you, you really do like put an effort into what you have, and, and uh, but but like back then, it was like I couldn't be bothered to like put the effort into like make anything What's... nice. I just have, like I said, one pot fucking stew, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> fried rice. This isn't my anecdote about you. This is just a prelude because my anecdote is so Jack mm. hated cooking. Not a good cook. Doesn't like flavor. He then went for a job interview, which he thought was going to a bar. He's going to be working at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Some... I know where you go with this. <laughs> Some... I think they even said, oh, what's your cooking experience? And he said, like, I can't even cook toast. And um, I said, I can cook, a... I can just about manage beans on toast on a good day. And you thought you were applying for a job as a barman, didn't you? 
Yeah, yeah. I've seen why you're asking me about cooking. Yeah. <laughs> if you had a job in, where was it, Missoula in town? Missoula. Which is closed now, yeah. so they can't sue us. I wonder, I wonder it's closed. But yeah. they did not, you were like the head, it was a head chef for all. Well, no, I um, I, I was just, a, I, was a, I was a sous chef, sous- which is mad enough in itself, <laughs> right? And then the head chef just, she was like, I'll teach you everything. I know, don't worry. Like, I'll teach you the craft and all that. A week later, she was like, right, I'm fucking off to Ibiza. I want to live my life. And I was like, well, you do you, darling. <laughs> you know, darling. I'm going to call the woman darling. No, darling. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, you do you, you know, uh, respected <laughs> female colleague. <laughs> and, um, and she got fucked off. And they was like, right, you're the head chef now. And I was like, oh, man. All I thought was going to do was like, pull pints and stuff. And like, can, yeah, I, can I talk about the right. interview process first? That they um, mm. they asked you <laughs> about your skills, and you said I don't have any. And then they were like, okay, good, you're in the kitchen. Eventually. And then they said to you, how are you under pressure? And you said one of the lines I still think about every time I interview someone or I get interviewed. And they said, <laughs> you, said you named him. So what was his name? Like Mark or whatever. <laughs> you're like, mm. Mark. I'm like coal. Put me under pressure, and I turn into a diamond. <laughs> That's that, I actually did that. Yeah, I don't know if I'd have the confidence to say that to someone now. That's and crazy. I must have been fucking like twenty, 20 yeah. or something. Then you know, sort of fresh out of uni, uh, twenty-one maybe. Yeah, fresh out of uni into the job market, sort of thing. What the fuck did I say that? What did I think so was going to happen? I mean, I got a fucking job out of it, so I guess. <laughs> I guess it works. Well, then, so then you were in that job for a little bit, and um, didn't like a secret shopper come around whilst you were working? And uh, it was a um, yeah, it was a manager undercover that was like, you know, going around and sussing the probably, uh, hmm, the quality place, of the food and all that sort of stuff. Uh, doing really badly online. <laughs> there must be their their policy of hiring any fucking thick <laughs> absolutely any fucking bell end <laughs> spouting shite in an interview. But yeah, they, they they did that, and he, he walked into the he walked into the wrong fucking venue that day. I can tell you. That. <laughs> Didn't they ask for a steak ciabatta? And you, you... it was a, a gammon. It was gammon. No, something. I thought right it was it was remember. steak, but you you gave him gammon. Oh yes, you so, are right. So, Sorry, corrected. Think, <laughs> yeah, yes, it was. It was, a, it was like a diced steak ciabatta with you know yes. a bit of bit of greens yeah. and all that in it. Sliced. I went steak gammon. Yeah, but it looks the same when it's frozen uncooked. gammon. And you put it on the grill, and then when you got your thermometer, you put the thermometer through this thing, but because it was still on the grill, it showed the right temperature, but even though it was completely frozen in the middle. And then you put if it anything, the... I was thinking, because they trained, you know, when the, two, uh, the sorry the head chef was there, she trained me like 60 degrees minimum, you know, to avoid food poisoning. Put it through, and it was on the grill, and it was like 60, 120, 100. I was like, oof, too hot, if anything. i got to save that up. <laughs> so then you serve this. So the guy's ordered a steak cheer batter. You serve him a frozen bit of gammon. <laughs> yeah, that's that. It did happen. That yeah. did happen. And then didn't you not get fired? You just left. Oh no! So what happened after that is he sent it back, and I was like, "Ugh, the insolence!" And then, <laughs> then food he said, "You want that?" And face. I was like, "And he said, oh, um, he wants the macaroni and cheese now.'" And he basically was going, look, here's an easy pass, because all that is is just a bag of macaroni and cheese, yeah. and you've got to stab it a few times, put it in the microwave, and then like slop it onto a plate. No one trained me how to do the mac and cheese, <laughs> so I didn't do the holes. So I put it in the microwave, and it just fucked my own butt, and just fucking went everywhere. I opened the, opened the microwave, and it was like all over like the top and the sides. I fucking scooped it best I could like into a bowl, and served that up. He didn't like that either, so <laughs> he said, oh, right then, he sent that back, and what does he want next then? He went, he's gone. I was like, ah, okay, cool. <laughs> That's wild. No, fuck off! Who the fuck are you to turn around and tell me when you work like a pig? You yeah. French pig! Yeah, you know what? You lazy pig! Yeah, big You're words. so full of shit! Open your eyes big and look, look round! Big mouth. You're not happy? I'm fucking happy. You, you can get out. Go on. You can get out. Fuck yourself. You can get out. It's oh, my yeah, fucking fuck. kitchen. Yeah, is it? Well, it's your fucking kitchen and clean it, you lazy cunt. No. So, yeah, I thought that was a good introduction to you, your philosophy. Your... It's a good illustration of my sort of 
work ethic. <laughs> but also the fact, like, that mm. most people would have crumbled under that. Or I'd be like, oh my god, fuck, I don't really know what I'm doing. Or fuck, this is too much. You'd be all happy to go, yeah, it's, it's what I'm doing, mate. If it's not good enough, fuck. Uh, you, you know me. It's yeah. it's hard to get me to get stressed you're out. Not, I mean, you're it not happens, don't wrong, you. but... I just am chill. like, oh, look, you know, someone's going to cash the rat for this more than me. So <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> who fucking cares? <laughs> and then no, I, got, like... I did get fired for a few, I got fired a few um, weeks later because I think, um, I think we were going to Dublin or something like that. Yeah, uh, you asked me to and, and, then, and then I went, oh, um, they said, yeah, no problem. And then when I came back, I said, oh, when's my next shift? And they're like, there isn't any. <laughs> It's like, okay, cheers. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> I think that's more of an indictment of their fucking recruitment process than yeah, my is. skills yeah. as a chef. Yeah, you, you can. That's for the point where you can tell Britta went into to, went into decline. I think that was the, the last moment that this country had anything going for it. Yeah, that's when we tipped the the capitalism scale just tipped that bit <laughs> too far, didn't it? Yeah, I hope everyone knows I was joking. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about anything. Ugh, no, <laughs> just plateaued. <laughs> the kebab is it. The is, yeah. Right, do you want to hit me with yours? Go on then. So, what I got for you is um, it was uh, me and the boys, including Franks, we went over to um, Perpignan in oh. France, a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful part of the country. Way too nice for us. We didn't realize this. We went to uh, this like sort of converted chateau. That, uh, you know, they changed it to an Airbnb and we had one of the rooms and it was like very big, very spacious. It was fucking gorgeous. It didn't cost us that much either, if I recall. Um, very, very nice. Had a pool and everything. And uh, <laughs> a pool which we proceeded to basically dominate for <laughs> the entire <laughs> weekend. So it was everyone, every guest could use it. But of course, when people turn up to the pool with their little kids and there's like four drunk, five even, drunken louts like with (laughs) beers floating in the fucking pool and stuff like that and the filters and whatnot and screaming profanities no one really wants to go in the pool so basically we had free reign in the pool uh it was also gorgeous weather they're way too hot for little Welsh boys like us scorching and uh yeah i always remember this this image because for the rest of us you know we're all doing sun cream on us and whatever and none of us we're all right we're all mates we're like oh do you mind doing my back mate yeah no problem no one finds doing the back of the neck, the back of everything. You know, even getting too handsy, if anything. And um, <laughs> and then comes to Franco. We're like, oh, should you do back me? No, no. <laughs> Franco's not not a fan of being touched. I hate when he doesn't being want touched. it. He hates <laughs> little fingers fiddling I with it. Oh, right? Just you saying it there makes my fucking skin crawl. He really doesn't like it. You want to see him fucking squirm. You ever meet him in real life? Just fucking <sighs> try and put your hand oh, on him. You fucking, fucking hate go being nuts. touched. So he hates being touched. So he would. I love touching confused. people, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you are so you're king of touching others, and more yeah. warrantedly. But everyone, no, no one touches you. And um, but yeah, I always remember this one. No, no, I don't. I, no, no one's put on my back. So then he proceeded to like this fucking image in my head. It makes me laugh every time. Every time. It's he was like doubled over if you like so bent over with a <laughs> bottle of this sun cream, and he was trying to like as if it was like a I don't know. <laughs> like a pepper shaker or something ball. going, Ugh. yeah, catch a ball going, but, 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 trying to like <laughs> spurt bits on his back. And it was like, we were all watching it going, like, and it was, you know, the occasional spot was hitting his back. But I was like, how are you going to rub that in? And then he was like, sort of reaching up behind he his back, like fucking, ah, oh, I'm trying to, think. you know, like a, the horror films where someone was like, <laughs> and they're like all really broken. And they, like, I honestly like, did damage my shoulder. I put it like so distantly yeah. to the throw it and around. And trying to do this, and it was just like, ah, oh, like maybe his finger, a nail of one of his fingers was like touching a little bit of it. And, all that. and he was like, there we are, job done, sort of thing. <laughs> and then because we were out in the sun all day, like his front half was done completely fine. So he was, you know, Pretty white there, sort of thing. Maybe a slight tan coming, but still very much pale Welsh boy. And on the back, it was fucking like red. It was a red raw. I look like he a looked flunk, like a um, a f- no no. What's the what's called a squidgy? Yeah, that's a right, squidgy. Yeah. One of those things, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, th- those lollies, you know. There's those lollies as well, and they were oh, pink on one side and like, white on the like others. S- oh. Schools? No, they're old school ones, and they they're always yeah. in those old school bloody <laughs> Halloween packs you get for um, kids. Drumsticks. Oh yeah, called dr- Yeah, you look like a drumstick, and it was just yeah. They're not only 
did we have the joy of seeing like him going, you know, looking like a drumstick, a human drumstick, which was hilarious. <laughs> I was so pink and white, it was fucking ridiculous. Just, just because the the pure, I won't let you touch me. He just suffered <laughs> from this, and then not only that is that when we got back to the UK, then or Wales, shall I say, a homeland, <laughs> mother motherland. Um, <laughs> Franco was like, he just messaged in the group one time. He's like, oh, that's it. I've got the devil's itch. And we were like, what the fuck is the devil's itch? He's like, look, man, it's real serious fucking condition. And he was like, you've been to the doctor. I was, was, like, yeah, I was in classic agony. devil's itch. I was in so much pain. Like, the back was like blistered. With, and it was like, it burns your nerve endings. So it's constantly. I was going to say, you've done like nerve damage, isn't it? That's how yeah. bad it was. And it was <laughs> just because you wouldn't let agony. us touch your fucking back. <laughs> And then, and then I had to get like a blood test and everything that came. It was like, I was in, I was just thinking then, every night I'd go to bed like in agony. I'd sleep against the wall like ice packs and nothing was touching it. It was so fucking horrible. So my tips for anyone listening, let your mates touch you up. If you need, if you're, if you're in Pepignon <laughs> in a pool. No matter just, what. <laughs> yeah. But just, just, um, uh, what's it called when you like push your fin- feelings down? Repress any feelings you have. No, not repress. What's it called when you like suppress? Suppress. Oh, I don't even know. Just let your mates touch you back up and, and just yeah, fucking just deal let them with do it. Because yeah, I ain't worth it. Because I'm sure at the time you were like, oh, I don't care that I look like a fucking drumstick. <laughs> no, I, I don't care. looking like a drumstick. And then I imagine just going ah every yeah, night. The pain was yeah. fucking unreal. It was, oh, yeah, the, was... the texts were brilliant, and it was the fact it was called the Devil's Age. Yeah, that's actually cool. Yeah, well. <laughs> I wasn't just Jack adding a bit of hyperbole to it. It was generally called Google. It, it's called the Devil's Itch. <laughs> Better the devil, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so that's a little illustration of uh, the sort of fr- uh, person Frank is the, the proud man. <laughs> the proud that man. He is. I am. <laughs> right. So my second t- anecdote for you about you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Jack was working for an organisation that required him to be on call at weekends and jump on social media with like emergency updates and like press releases oh. from his organisation. <laughs> so oh, I'm going to have the This is a baddie. I don't like this one. <laughs> so still, it's fine. It just it, 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 for once you're not chill. Um, so Jack, yeah, we went out for like I was going to say, after the last one I said, hey, it takes a lot to get me stressed, buddy, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this is one of the few times you actually have gotten stressed, and, and it's, yeah. that's why it's memorable, uh, whereas I get stressed all the time. Um, so anyway, we were on like this, ma- we were on like a giant sesh, like a mega sesh, and uh, Jack was like, and Jack was meant to be working that weekend on call, and he's like, oh, it'll be fine, I never get needed to do much on call stuff anyway, so it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> famous last words. About like four hours into the mega lash, and Jack gets pinged that he needs to do like an urgent press release, and Jack enters panic mode. <laughs> so... At the same time, the rest of us vibrate with like glee and excitement because we oh, now God, get to hassle yeah. Jack whilst he's trying to produce. It was, not, was not a healthy work environment. I can tell <laughs> that much. <Yeah. laughs> well, to explain, we're in a pub, we're in a Weatherspoons off City Road. We, if anyone knows Cardiff, it's a busy like street and uh, uh, and a really busy, busy spoons. And uh, <laughs> Jack has to write a series of tweets in both English and Welsh whilst being about like six pints deep and probably a couple of Jaegers at this point. Um, so yeah, we start I was looking at my off. phone through like fucking, you know, like one eye closed, you know? <laughs> yeah. you know? And we start throwing him off, like winding him up and my God, <sighs> did you bite. We like, we caught ourselves fucking Moby Dick himself. He was chomping at everything we were serving up. Oh God, yeah. Call me Ishmael because I fucking, <laughs> I absolutely went for it. At one point, I'm still embarrassed to this day. You snapped, like, guys, this is my job. And our mate Chez, he devastatingly replied with, well, don't get smashed and be at the pub then. <laughs> Which, like, Jack, you can't retort to that. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. so, That's an absolute point. <laughs> you then had, you stood up and left. You're like, right, I'm going. And you went to go find a quiet place in the pub to finish crafting your tweets. I you love write that. Them. I won't go home and sort no. it. I'll <laughs> no, just go to the quiet place in the pub. I don't want to leave just yet. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you come back. You write them, job done. You come back. Or is it? Bing! <laughs> Get a notification buzzing on his phone, and it's some boffin correcting his Welsh language because he's misspelled something. <laughs> no, I tell you, it wasn't. It wasn't boffin. It was fucking chairs. He he got he'd oh. gone in again. He'd gone in for another bite of the cherry. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... No, but didn't someone message him? Sorry. 
and the, oh, the... someone said sorry. Yeah, he went. I, I I can't remember what it was. But someone it, said sorry because then, then all you boys kept going sorry, sorry. Because yeah, some you, you, oh, missed, right then. you did spell something wrong, and someone from the public I did, yeah. message saying they left the Welsh and they left a comment on the Welsh language one saying S O double R I sorry, sorry. <laughs> and they yeah. buckled us. Oh God, so, that was so, yeah. That one's a short list. one, but this one just shows the uh, <laughs> when you do come under pressure, you do not deal with it I, well. Uh, listen, I'm just a human like everyone else. Okay, I uh, <laughs> I have my my limits. <laughs> it was uh, to be fair, I could have avoided that entirely by just doing my job properly. Yeah, but, <laughs> but fucking, uh, you don't get paid enough to do your job properly, mate. No one does. Well, there we are. Nothing, nothing bad came of it. No one knew no. the difference, so it makes me think: like, should I even bothered at all? Why did you get so stressed about it? <laughs> you were so stressed. <laughs> I don't like it being brought up because uh, I have yeah, a, I a tell, facade of a... You were you were of a no, because you of are. A, you are. Very one chilled of the best, individual. <laughs> one of the best uh, qualities in you is you let things wash over and you're not, you don't get hung up. You're very, very easygoing. Which is why we work, because I am a not easy going. <laughs> hard work. And I don't think I'd have many friends if they were as hard work as me. So I luckily surround myself with people. Quite I impressive. remember one time being, we were away somewhere and I think I got a I got a speeding ticket or something. And Amy went like, oh, uh, they just, uh, we just had a letter through me. You know, we've had a speeding ticket. And we were with you and Emma. And um, I went, oh, have we? No. Oh. Like and then Emma was going, is that your reaction? Is that your reaction to having a speeding ticket? And I was like, yeah, well, yeah, nothing to do about it now, is there? <laughs> Imagine when they gone, this is my fucking livelihood! <laughs> I did kick the fucking wing mirror off the car. <laughs> like, called everyone yeah, you got. Well, I don't need this anymore. <laughs> this shit oh, out good. Of well, I might as well be dead. Sorry I'm not perfect, <laughs> the road. <laughs> <laughs> Three points? Give me six, you fucking cowards. Go on. <laughs> double it. Double it again, you fucking prick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, uh, that's how we get on. No, I, I G you up and you G me down. That's it, man. And uh, <laughs> I hope there's not one that invokes such uh, cringe memories in me next time for, <laughs> from you. No, to be fair, they're my two biggies. The rest of them are just some uh, highlights. But... Okay, a, a highlight reel. I like that. <laughs> yeah, just a quick highlight reel. So I've got um for my second one. Uh, this is a double bill, uh, back to backer because they're quite short stories. So I thought I'd I'd, I'd tie them together. So um one of them is just and you'll like this <laughs> because thinking about it before made me laugh quite a bit. Um, back in school we used to play this really fucking stupid and poorly named game called push each other off the wall game. <laughs> And um, we used to line up against the wall in one of the yards, and like if you, you'd have to be like fucking flat against the wall. If you gave like any any sort of leeway, someone would wedge themselves in and launch you right onto the sort of. There's a little bit of grass, it's a tiny and then there's hill, like concrete it? again, tiny hill of grass, and then like concrete, and you'd get pushed onto there, and then you had to fight your way back into the wall. Stupid little boys' games, or whatever. Right. So this particular day. Uh, and just to explain, it was on a mound, wasn't it? It was on like a bit. Yeah, of a so hill. it's on. So, to, to try and describe the, the the arena, if you will, there's a <laughs> huge building, right? Massive. Uh, proper wall, red brick. There's a pack. Like, yeah, proper red brick. Rough as well, because used to that was that was one of yeah. the dangers. You should yeah, rust around it. Yeah. But um, and then there's like a path right in front of you that leads like sort of uh, along it, and then there was a small bank then full of, uh, of grass. And then it was like the, the concrete play yard, if you like. So we used to line up against the, the red brick. And yeah, like as I said earlier, you know, you, you try and wedge people off and, and you push them down the hill and then they had to sort of fight their way back. This particularly, don't know, I don't even think we were playing that game. I don't think that ever even happened. This was like when we were about 14, 15, yeah. something like that. And um, our mate Dan, <laughs> loveliest guy in the world, he was <laughs> stood kind of and he was about, I don't know, it was probably about... Pff, I don't know, three feet from him in the wall. 
and we were like lent against it just because when you weren't playing, you know, when you were off off duty, you were just lent against the wall having your lunch or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But I think it was on, ingrained on within us to be safe, back against and, the wall. And, well, you, you say that. I think maybe just ingrained, ingrained within you. Listen to what I'm about to say. So, <laughs> I'm always ready for attack. I'm, I'm always, always on. I know, yeah. That's your problem. You never switch off, mate. You <laughs> never switch off, do you? <laughs> yeah. But then I just remember I was, I was fucking munching on my sandwich and Frank just tapped me on the shoulder and went, watch this. And he fucking shoulder barged Dan, like a fucking, like, I don't know, maybe sixth lumbar, fucking nailed him off the bank. He spun like a fucking baton in here. He was so straight. He had his hands in his pockets, poor fucker. So it, was it wasn't even like just flaming. He was like, he was like, he was just like a, I don't know, something, I can't think of it. An analogy I think I got strange. an analogy for it. Mm. Um, so, do you know in Noddy, Noddy's got that fucking cunt mate who he hangs around with. What's he called? The gnome-looking guy, yeah? Noddy's mate. And he's like, he doesn't he doesn't have legs. Is it Noddy? Is that, he's, like, he's like a little pinball. Oh, no, Noddy's mate does have legs. I think there's someone she... in the Noddy universe who doesn't have Noddy legs. In the Noddyverse, yeah. Yeah. Um, but basically, Dan, basically, he was flipping through the air, and he was so straight, like so vertical, it was unreal, but he kept flipping. And he just nailed. I'm pretty sure he hit the concrete, if I recall. So, what it was... I remember him hitting hard. I didn't even push it. I didn't shoulder barge him. I put my leg against the wall, and I used it as mm. a springboard, and then I used my hands. And it, <laughs> so, I, I pushed oh, down it from was, his shoulder. It was like the right velocity. at the end, like the sort of small of the back as well. So, you saw his head, like, whip back. <laughs> yeah. And, like, yeah. It looked like... Imagine if there was someone with all, like, the weight in their feet. So, when he pushed the top part... The weight at the bottom just like it pushed. So when his head touched the floor, his feet flew up so fast and whipped him yeah. back down. And Dan was not ready for it. So when he came oh, back up, he was God. like, "Oh my God, <laughs> what if I just?" He had a he had a, like a, a near death experience, <laughs> yeah. I think. And we were all looking like, "What the fuck was that?" <laughs> Because we weren't even playing, you were like, watch this. As if we'd be like, yes, Franco, go, Franco. You know, We what? were like, what have you done? It's what one of the weirdest. You almost killed him. It's one of the maddest things. <laughs> it's your fucking oh. autistic brain I fucking know. going, this will be a laugh. <laughs> this will be a laugh. I'll assault my friend. My, one of my oldest, dearest <laughs> friends. <laughs> one of my oldest friends. <laughs> he really is. I've known Dan for, for as long as I've known anybody, and I love him, but... Yeah. It was. I think there is someone in like, <laughs> there is someone in like a, a cartoon where they don't have legs. They just have like, like a, they look like a bowling pin, and that's the best way I could describe how I how Dan felt. Like so if you yeah. pushed a bowling pin from the top, it'd flow backwards. And oh god, it was funny though. It was good. <laughs> no, yeah, it was. I it was insane. I don't know if we could describe just... very well how what we did, but. You'll just have to picture in your head, and if not, yeah, just try and illustrate it in your mind if you can. <laughs> it was, yeah. um, you know, it wasn't. What I need to stress is, I don't think it was cruel. Oh, no, I didn't mean to be mean. <laughs> I think it was just, uh, it was almost like instinct. You know, you're yeah. like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> and like I didn't, when I said watch this, I didn't give any pretext of saying this will be a good thing or a bad thing. I was just asking you to partake and watch. Yeah, and I just don't just... think. In my wildest dreams, when you said, watch this, I could have predicted what was going to happen. It was, I was just like, what the fuck? You were stood next to me eating your fucking brach, Dan, eating your sandwich, tapped you on the shoulder. Hey, mate, watch this. No, I didn't even say it. That. Yeah, I, I said it the way you said it. Watch this. Like, watch I was going to do something and then fantastic. Just fucking nailed him. That's it. Body back. Throw my body at him, and he's oh. gone. He was gone. He was ousted. But uh, I was going to cool. say, there's a. Uh, I was going to do two quick ones then, but that yeah. one, they, these always spark discussion, don't yeah. they? So I'll, I'll try and go through the, 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 the swift version of this one. So, excuse me, I just burped horrendously there. Um, so this was um, early 20s, I think, when we were living together. We were out for a night out. I think we, that was back when we used to fucking still go out in like, on, mid um, week. Uh, yeah, in midweek, we were still hanging on to the uni lifestyle. Yeah. Um, going on, I think it was like a Wednesday or something. And we, um, you were howling, but you seemed like you had, you were like a uh, compass mentis, you know, like yeah. you knew you could, you could sort of find your way home. So when you were like, I'm going boys, we were like, yeah, yeah, no problem. And, um, so we let you leave and everything. Uh, we're thinking, yeah, you'd be fine. No problem. A couple of hours later, we dialed our fill. We came back 
and we just saw, I remember seeing you in the doorway. You'd obviously, I don't know, lost your keys, forgot oh, your keys, something this. like that. <laughs> and you were just, you were in a t-shirt, because obviously we were in Metro, so you didn't need to be dressed smart or whatever. And, and our listeners, believe it or not, he had a lighter and he was like, lighting the lighter and like running it underneath <laughs> his arms and then like swapping hands and doing the other arm and stuff to just try and give himself a little morsel of warmth to like keep him going god knows how long you've been doing it for but it's we turned up and we were like you're right you're like hello <laughs> <You're> like, oh. <laughs> let me in i lost my keys like going, <laughs> just using that lighter my last light of life in my world <laughs> also i'm the kind of cunt who loses stuff so often like i used to go through phones like i'm not joking once a month probably once every six weeks i'd lose it oh like, you're awful for it yeah one time so my friend said <laughs> my friend once said it to me like oh he so, like so I, one time i was in a pub and I'd left my phone on the table, and he went. He gave it back to me, and oh yeah, cheers, mate, thanks. And then I left, and I went outside for a cigarette. And then we were leaving to the next pub, and he went, "Do you have your phone on?" Oh fuck no, I left it on the table. And he said, "It's like <laughs> someone gives me my phone." I just go, "Oh cheers, mate." And I drop kick it as far as I can. Throw like one time, it, yeah. someone stole my phone from Cardiff, from Dempsey's in Cardiff, and it ended up in, on the floor in Bristol. And this oh, really yeah, kind man gave it back to me. He was like, "I did find my phone," and like. And tracked it down that way, and I my mate lived uh, close to Swindon. Uh, he lived in Swindon, close to like Bristol. And the guy mm. mess- messaged me, "Hey, I've got your phone. I found it on the floor in Bristol." I went, "I went nowhere near Bristol," but I used to lose shit all the time. I'd get so drunk just in my wallet, oh, my yeah, keys, everything. <laughs> I was a dumb klutz. But also that night was freezing, wasn't it? It was like a bitterly cold. Oh, it was mid- it was like depths of winter. So like, mm. I don't blame you for what you did, but also it was like when I left, I was mm. like, yeah, the guy will be all right, no <laughs> yeah. worries. And then Lost came back, like, oh my god, look at him. He's, <laughs> he's using a fucking lighter for warmth. <laughs> the modern caveman himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a chilly night, wasn't it? Well, so I've done like I because I, I was I didn't have time to write my three anecdotes because like I said, I've been poorly. Um, which I, we say quite a bit on this pod. We're always a bit poor, you know. Basically, it's, we're always drinking, so we're like we're always like hungover or <laughs> yeah. tired or so I, sick as we're compromising me, the immune system. So me and you both trying to like get in shape for weddings and stuff, and um, but I, every weekend, man, we just seem to have plans. Like we're always out either for like like seeing our friends or stag do's or big sessions or sport events or or if we're not doing that, we're going out for fucking food. Like we're always going out for things. We just for living, mate. That's what I we say. are like the Welsh version of Paris Hilton and her mate who did the the, the rich oh, life. Uh, so Nicole Richie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was it that is, the rich that life? is so that is so me and you. The um is it the sweet life the or am I thinking the sweet, the sweet like life? a Zack and Cody from fucking <laughs> Disney? <laughs> Um, it was a simple life, wasn't it? Simple. simple life. That's life. it, because I used to go on like farms and shit. Yeah. And, and like some little nerdy <laughs> farm and would be like, so you go to build a hay like this, and they'd be like, yeah, <laughs> and he'd be like, oh, and he like, wouldn't have a clue what to do. I'm not doing it. That's fucking horrible. <laughs> yes, I work. I'm going to go and have a drink and bag of bread. Apparently, Paris <laughs> is a bit of a fucking le- legend. She's like, Apparently um, she's super clever, like it's all an act. Well, I don't think it's an act. I think she had a bit of a tough time growing up. Like, um, they they sent her on one of those, um, you know, like those like bad kids in America. Or like, t- well, they try to straighten you out by sending you to like, the desert to one of those like fucking, you know, instead of giving love and you tr- <laughs> and like support yeah, to kids, they're like oh, put it in the hands you. of some really uh, <laughs> yeah, some you know, power hungry like disciplinaries. Party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they like grabbed her in the middle of the night and took her to this fucking disciplinary thing. And, Fuck me, really? Yeah, she, and then, and the, you know that sex tape that came out with her, like the guy she was with, it was a fucking cunt. It was horrible. Hang on, where's this going? <laughs> no, How no, he, that, that was done that night. <laughs> no, <laughs> they she took was like the sex she tape. was really young, and he was like. Like double her age and like made her do it. So like really horrible. Like just just she just seemed to have a bit of a shit time mm. of it. But and she was like quite. She seemed quite vacuous. But I think mm. the other day she was like like a, at a um a union rally and stuff like that. And she's quite political and she's got like. A... Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I did see that. Also, that was an anecdote about uh, uh we're saying an anecdote about Paris Hilton now because our special guest for this episode, Paris Hilton. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I thought we could like do like a clap thing and then come back and go, nah. <laughs> nah, no, we don't have that. Okay. I don't have to sort of pull yet. I don't. I, that is fucking left. We went on a tangent. Like 
<laughs> we're, we're on a tangent. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm a Paris Hilton. There's much I'm interested in. But... I do think that this is an episode for if you're a bit of a fan of what we need to talk about, you'll enjoy it. And if you don't, yeah. tune in next week. We talk about fucking, I don't know. I'm so minutes. glad you've said you'd edit this one. It's fucking 53 minutes yeah, already. We haven't got to the bloody honeymoon <laughs> questions yet. Yeah. Yeah. What's the honeymoon have, question have... I hear you say? Oh, we oh. all find out. But we have dilly dallied. But yeah, next week we'll be back on track with fucking a minor, a minor's tail or something like that. But for now, <laughs> yeah, something depressing about how Wales is in the shit or something. Yeah, I don't know. That's the thing, man. Fucking as I'm, I, I mean, you're both quite in tune with politics in in Wales, mm. and it's fucking, it's just the the HS two stuff and just all the bollocks that's going on at the moment. It's fucking every time I have to research something, I think God, I wish there oh, was yeah. a revolution going on right now or something. Yeah. Where's, yeah. where's fucking this generation Llewellyn or something like Me that? Me and you, and we're fucking in. drunks. Well, <laughs> so, I don't want to be that person. No, I don't want that sort of we're pressure. cowardly no. drunks. <laughs> Although, no, we're not I'll tell you what, I'll start, I'll start the ball rolling with a pod, and yeah. then if you want me to do anything Grand else, well. nah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'll have a fight. I don't mind a fight, but I'm not going to start a revolution. I'm not going to tsunami, man. Yeah, I'll have a scrap. Right, um, my... Highlights now to run through some highlights. So first off, Jack's okay. got are some... these like honor- honorable mentions? Yeah. Are they honorable mentions? Okay, yeah. Jack has got some fucking hilariously bad tattoos. One of them being the little dragon <laughs> on his shoulder from Game of Thrones. He's the mother of dragons. We used to call it's, him. It's not from Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> it's just like a little goblin dragon on your shoulder. It's worse than that. I drew it myself when I was fucking sixteen, <laughs> thinking I was cool as shit. <laughs> But whoever did it, it looks like you've been drawn with crayons. It's really thick lines. Uh, well, thing is, I was sixteen, right? So Ooh. who's tattooing a sixteen-year-old? Mate, you see my sick tattoo at sixteen. Dodgy morals. I've got a fucking. Know, so yeah, ta- do you know what my first tattoo was? Um, it was a um, Chippy Lane. Um, oh, nice, classy yeah. joint. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was near Dorothy's on Chippy Lane, and I was sixteen as well. And I think you got to be eighteen to get a tattoo, but they didn't. You, you know, do. Didn't. Um, but did the, you did yours do the thing where he goes way too deep and now it all like sort of raises into like I sent you like a colourful scar? Well, I went for non colours, but um, it was way too deep. So the line was smart, fucking massive. smart move. But I went for <laughs> fucking so cliche. I went for a Beatles scroll of music for All You Need Is Love. Oh, yes, of <laughs> course, that was your first one. That's you know, it's better than it could have been. I remember a discussion in your uh, in oh, your yeah. parents' house and your little uh, drinking den at one point, and we were like, look. Why don't you get Carlin and I'll get Strongbow? <laughs> and it was like that was when we were like, oh, you know, because drinking is our life. Little did we know. Twenty really years is, later, but, I, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I'll get one with, now with you if you want. But, I was, I was, because I wanted the Carlin Lion, didn't I? Um, oh yeah, I once, imagine. <laughs> I once wrote on a on a maths book, shouting lager, 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 and my mate Sean put it. And went that says larger. <laughs> <laughs> Shout in larger, larger, larger. <laughs> God, can you imagine? God. I mean, don't worry, well, my tattoo I got is not much better than that fucking the strongbow when I was considering. <laughs> well, how many have you got? Have you got yeah. two or three? I got two. I, uh, I, I didn't learn my lesson there. the first time. <laughs> and then, yeah, I stupidly, for some fucking reason, then got a Welsh dragon on my right arm. <laughs> Good dragon um, obsessed. Which, I, well, everyone goes, like, would you love a thing for dragons? I was like, no. I just, I mean, it, it's clearly, I, I, I guess I do if I got them tattooed into my skin, but who knows? Um, also, I, I've got a couple. I like my other ones. Um, mm. I, I, my other ones are. We, like, that was then later in life, wasn't it, where you had some yeah. contemplation and, like, yeah. sort of, yeah. Okay. Um, so, tattoos done. Second, you got robbed by two lads with standing knives when you were about to catch the, tr- the bus home from Cardiff to St. Athens. <sighs> Which is kind of in Athens. News, all right. It <laughs> was, was it? two guys, one of them had a scalpel, okay? <laughs> That's even funnier. <laughs> yeah. What a, what a niche what weapon. A Not niche even a weapon, weapon, it's a tool. It's a Do you remember? Tool. There was a period in like the early 2000s when you we used to get like just people with like groups of teenagers would just come up to you in town and say, hey, do you have a quid? And just make you give them a pound yeah. to get beaten up. And, uh, yeah, went, that's basically what happened to me. Yeah. yeah, but you didn't have a pound, so they took no, they took your, took your wallet them. off you, and your wallet had your oh. bus ticket. Oh, so uh, basically, I I was on the bus stop, and I was waiting for the bus back. For some stupid reason, I didn't get a return. I think I was planning on getting a different bus back than I got there or something. And then these guys came up, 
and said like oh you know give give us everything you have or uh you know we we will physically hurt you and all that and i was thinking well pff, emotional good luck um <laughs> but um i was i was in a bit of a mosha chic at the time so i had like a, a chain to my wallet and I gave I gave them a wallet, and they were, they scrambled through it. Could only find three quid, and they were like, "Is this all there is?" So I was like, I was like "Fucking hell, right, man? We're like fucking 14, right?" Like. So and then to, to be judged absolutely. by a robber. I know a guy. You fucking oh fuck off, like you know. Anyway, so they took it anyway, and they didn't take my wallet because it was chained to me. So then when the bus driver turned up, I was just kind of in shock there, just like, oh, do, mm. do you remember like what Cardiff? bus station used to be yeah, like didn't you? Fucking rough. stinking of piss like full yeah. of tramps and all that sort yeah. of stuff this was this was the middle of the day there was actually a, a, a woman like she must have been like middle age or something like that sitting not that far and I'm pretty sure she says what was going on and I'm yeah. pretty sure she thought oh, I'm not getting involved and to be honest I don't blame her yeah. but anyway um, I don't know these I guys fucked off involved. I know it's not yeah, I, 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 mean, I don't always get involved from an idealistic point of view yeah but I could yeah. I could get it what if they turn around and fucking stuck a bloody yeah. scalp but if I saw like some that, fucking 14 year old mosh getting robbed I think that's <laughs> alright you don't have to say it was such fucking venom from 14 year old fucking well, loser I'd be thinking, mosh yeah I'd be thinking he's having it tough enough so <laughs> it's not that some two cunts rob him I you were my fucking friend at the time <laughs> So you must have you must have liked me a little bit, anyway, and um, so yeah. Then the so I just was there in kind of shock, like oh fuck, this has happened. Um, I text my mum going like oh I think I've just been mugged to wherever. She's think. like why are you on? She's like why are you on about? Like you know she probably had a couple of gins by then, and uh, <laughs> and then uh, the bus came and I got on. I was like I'm really sorry. He's like I wanted to buy a ticket back, but like my, uh, I got mugged and whatever. And I gave him this fucking sob story, and the guy's like oh mate shut the fuck up, get on. Like I, don't, I can't be yeah. asked this and this thing. So I managed to get home. It was all good. But, uh, well, it wasn't all good. I was a bit traumatised. But <laughs> but it was more like, just more just like, fucking hell. I, you know, danger's everywhere, isn't it? It was you know, mad. Be being younger, being jumped was such a fucking part of life, wasn't it? You would always just, like, just like, like, oh, just, well. The, the sense know, yeah. of, oh, I'm, like, I used to catch a train to Barry to go see everyone for nights out and stuff. And I'd catch a train mm. back to Dillis. And like it was so often that to get off my train, you have to go to an underpass. And the amount oh, of times that was scary as fuck, mate. Yeah. What my underpass, the one by mine. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, it's scary, it's scary. It's scary. Uh, that your place underpass. was lovely because it was up on top of the hill, wasn't it? Yeah, you get, get the, the, the hill, underpass. Yeah, to go into there. I'd rather jump across the tracks. Than yeah, mate. Out. Honestly, the fucking that underpass. I, I had so many times you had to fucking uh, rugby your way through so you didn't get back. Like I've honestly had to like. So you know, like they play bulldogs, so you have to run through the like arms of the other people. They'd just be teenagers. Oh, people who it. watch the. Uh, Knapp an episode or know exactly <laughs> yeah. about that. I remember me and my friend said that we we both had a chewing gum. We chewed the chewing gum and we were like, right, fucking, we belt through this now. We could hear them all in the, in the underground part. We we're like, we're just gonna run as fast as we can. And we ran through. And I looked back to see my friend had made it with me. <laughs> it was just literally like a gauntlet of punches and getting fucking kicked. It was a, it was a mm. tough time being a teenager, wasn't it? Yeah, um, and especially if you were, uh, you know, didn't get to like some some people like we knew, you know, in, in school, they uh, they could get dropped places, you know, yeah. from A to B. But we knew you just had to get fucking the old peasant <laughs> the wagons, didn't yeah, we? And, no, and then yeah, deal with the repercussions. Yeah, that was. Where did we? What were we? How did we start this? Where's this tangent uh, coming from? I said you got uh, mugged with a Sunday night. Ah, right? yes, true. I did get mugged. Was that where the highlights? Was yeah. it? My last uh, quick one for you is Jack used to talk to loads of girls on MSN, so we used to call him the cyber pimp. Which oh. <laughs> used to make me laugh so much. You went there, did you? I was yeah. praying that I could sort of, I don't know, maintain some sort of facade. Not cool, it won't be cool. Like, I don't <laughs> dare to dream that high. But like, to, to fucking, just to not be such a fucking loser. Well, you really, quiet. So you used to speak to, you were 16, you used to speak to those of 16 year olds on there, but nothing's changed. You still speak to those of 16 year old girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, you'll go. We gotta fly through these now. Oh, we just you're just leaving that now. They you, you mess just six year old girls, right? <laughs> Moving <laughs> slip. Oh, snappy, on. snappy, snappy. I, I do not. I do not. Mm. Um uh right, my last one for you then is um and this is gonna show you in a very colonial light here. Let's wonder if you know <laughs> you know which one this is. Uh we another holiday, the holiday event, this time in Malgrat de Mar. Uh, I can't recommend it. It's not a very nice place. I would not suggest you go there, even for a really, really cheap, all-inclusive holiday like Fuck, we did, because it was just, 
It was Worst like we, we are not, you know, we're not. Uh, oh, we don't you. need the fucking uh, the bells and whistles on. We can just have a bed and a bar and we'll be fine. But this was fucking something else. My God, we got we. I could probably fill the rest of this pod with the stories that we we could tell you, but this one in particular is about Franco. And so uh, we've been on a night out, been on the lash because what else have we got to do there? Uh, it was quite late at night. We were like sort of looking for food. Uh, I think we came across, we, we, we managed to go, we stay out later than most places were open. So we managed to get to this one place and it was like a kind of, um, you know, like a, the hot dog vendors in America. They like sort of <laughs> yeah. self started and they, you know, they just like, they can move anywhere. Like that's They also the have like mafia links, don't they? Yeah. So it was one of them, but it wasn't hot dogs. It was like, it was kebab. It was uh, sort of that. So we were going there for about, and Franco, uh, you you were smoking quite a bit at the time, and I remember you uh, you, you ran out of uh, of ciggies. <laughs> oh my you, god! You oh fucking, no! What you just what? fucking yeah. And this fucking this little kid just walked past, and you were like, "Oi, oi, you!" And he's like, <laughs> "No, okay? no, or whatever he's, like that." He said, "He went, oh, do you want smokes?" I was like, "Yeah, I want smokes." No, and he was... I'm pretty sure I remember it. You uh, he was a random good little kid. He had like a fucking Bible in his hand. <laughs> And you, <laughs> and you said, oi, oi, kid. And he wasn't a kid, like, he was said, like a fucking like, 20 year old lad. <laughs> he was like seven. And, uh, and, then, and then you went, oi, kid. Fucking. A the white man wants some, <laughs> the white man wants some smokies. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah. And you said, yeah, go on then. You give him, you give him a bit of quit, a bit of money. And we were like, mate, is that not just going to be, maybe this is a power, you know, prejudice Look, on our point. Just, just to show. I thought really he was happened. definitely just going to nick your money. Well, he came up to, he was like, do you want smokes? I might have been hollering the street, give me some smokes. And, and some poor, this like 20 year old lad was like, oh, I can get you cigarettes. For, I'll go get you some now. I was like, oh, I yeah. I think he was saying yeah. it to the kebabi, like asking yeah. if he sold yeah. them. And he said no. And, and this, then this guy, this, approached this lad him. heard it. And he was like, oh, I can get you some. I went, okay, give him 20 pesos. Seven-year-old Christian lad came up to you. <laughs> no, I gave I gave this 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 um, merchant, this, no, what would you call him, entrepreneur, 20 bucks. And <laughs> yeah, if you want to call it that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you all thought, what a maniac, you've just given 20 quid to a stranger. Well, it looked like to us, you just went, oi, boy. Here's 20 bucks, he'll get me some fucking fags. And, and he went, okay, sir. And then and left. And we were like, Jesus, Franco, like, you can't do that, man. Like, this is, you know, this is not colonial Britain anymore. You can't just do this shit. <laughs> no, that's not it. And then, and then you were saying, and you were saying, you were saying, well, we need to go back to the colonial times. That's when I felt more at peace. You're forgetting Tell I mentioned that this one. episode, so I'm going to fucking... Oh yeah, she's gonna do me. Usable. <laughs> yeah. Oh come on! You yeah. said, <laughs> you said earlier. He still matches a sixteen-year-old. Right, come yeah. on, move on now. Stop. Hey, stop talking yeah, about right. move on. Right, yeah. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, so yeah, what what really happened was a helpful passerby said, "I'll go get you some." Mm-hmm. Brilliant. Here's twenty quid. He went to go get them. Came back with the fags. I took my bags. I took my chains. He did it for. Uh, he off. did it at cost for you as well. <laughs> it's just absolutely nothing gained, <laughs> apart from a couple of calories well, he being made a friend. on his part. He made a friend. Well, yeah, what was his name? I said, "You ever come to Wales? My house is your home, compadre." That was one of the worst holidays of our lives. It was. Ah, oh, we went to um. We, we we dropped into like one of the pubs, didn't we? And it was called like. It's called like a dog dick. and duck or something yeah, like that. Dog, yeah. But we ended up calling it like the duck's tits or something like that. <laughs> and it was the highest rated but, place on on TripAdvisor. So we thought probably decent. We went in there, and um, I'm not I'm not slating all Northerners. I'm not. No, right? not at all. Because actually, my partner's from the north. The north is fucking yeah, beautiful. People exactly. are amazing. There's plenty of lovely places up there. Plenty yeah. of lovely people. This is just this the place we were in Spain was just it it brought every worst person from Britain there, hence why we were there. But it had like the worst of the Scots, the worst of the English, the worst of the Welsh. Oh yeah, and there it was, was just Scottish this one well, fucking there, yeah. vile cesspool of horrible people, and it was just grim. And the well, place um, was all, what was the, the poor um, Spanish? Fuck me. This wasn't uh, something that you boys said that obviously I went over my head. It was about sports. But there was a game on that day that you boys were quite keen to watch, and it was meant to be quite a big game. And this this uh, pub was like, you know, live sport, live sport. Mm-hmm. So we went in there, and expecting them to see. You could probably elaborate on this. Well, yeah. We expecting them to have something on the telly that was like 
a real big game, and it was like some shitty little game. Well, no, them. so Wales were playing like a Euros qualifier, and I think it might have been the year that when the, the the campaign that Wales got to uh, France. So Wales have been doing quite well. So we asked to put the Wales game on. But at the same time, there was some like domestic football on. It was like Leeds, who were in like, the championship at the time. And everyone in the pub was a Leeds fan. And then <laughs> me being bold, she was like, no, we're having the Wales game on. And then I heard some guy be like, oh, the Wales are fucking shit. Oh. And I went through no, every no, mate, single... That was, that was the second time we went in. when we Because the first time we went in, we went in and immediately turned back out, wouldn't it? Because <laughs> we went, oh, yeah. fuck this, we're not staying here. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, yeah, because we've done it a few times. We t- did a UE. But um, so this guy kept like slagging off every Welsh player, and it was a pub full of English people. And I kept saying really loudly, uh, "Joe Allen." Uh, oh, I kept saying like, "Oh, he's better than every single English player there ever was." Uh, Aaron Ramsey, he's better than any single player in the English team right now. And I kept making these ridiculous <laughs> claims just to wind up the people next to me. I went, "Thing is about there's not a single player in the England team who'd get into this Welsh squad." And I kept saying things like that, and they were fucking rattled. They were getting oh, so mate. rattled. There was, I remember, I remember when we did that because we were playing pool as well. And of course, the other boys there who knew about sports were like, "So going, oh god, what's going to yeah. happen now?" But I was like, <laughs> "Come on, lads, is that really the drink?" Because I, I was fucking, being so. I don't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> I think Roy Hodgson was the, the manager at the time. I just like, and you could tell he's a nonce. He <laughs> was just being <laughs> horrible. When he backed me into a corner, if you insult any Welsh football player, I get so defensive. So defensive. Right. No, it's a, it's it's not a great place to go. Uh, you know, we we don't mind a shit all, but my God, no. we, we we all regretted going there. None, none yeah. of us. I, I, we had a good time because we just got fucking hammered. But, but it was during it was, it was just like my during God. the Catalonian riots or Catalonian protests. I don't think you should call them riots. It was during the protests mm. when they were trying to get, they were trying to vote for independence, mm. and uh, like leaders got arrested and stuff. So when we'd escaped fucking Loret de Mar to go to uh, Barcelona, and on the trains in, you'd see like fucking <laughs> yeah, a brief a brief reprieve in the capital, <laughs> yeah. shall we? You'd go in and there'd be like streets on fire and like lorries overturned. They said, "Hey, like, due them. to the Catalonian protests yeah. or whatever, yeah. like fucking everything is closed." Oh, like, oh, like, oh, we we were just serious? wandering the streets trying to find a pub, and no pub would be open then we found the kebabby everything revolves around kebabbies and the kebab was like my friend come in and we were like oh we will have a revolution let's have a I'm kebab a, and a pint and we can I'm sit in the fucking I'm not listening because he he was our saviour oh, he's a saviour and then yeah. he went he went like oh you, we came in and he was like oh what do you want to eat and we are like uh, something to drink and he went yeah. yeah yeah no worries and he gave us like a stray or something like that and it was like a euro or something yeah, like that, and we were like, beautiful. fucking yeah. Also, we stayed yeah. there for hours. We stayed in this little we, shitty we, overgrown we garden this, for hours. Yeah, because the rest of the streets were on fire. And we just sat yeah. in this dude back there. <laughs> so much ag, you know? Yeah. Fucking hell. But it was still it's less like a chill pill, guys. Fucking, less stressful than the fucking hellhole we had to go back to in Le Red de Mar. God, All the, right. the, the absolute riffs and tangents we've been on. I know. So should we, is that you done for yours? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all mine, I think. Ooh. Well, shall we move on to the final part? Which I, I know we're on our recording it says we're at fucking one hour, whatever, but we are. Oh, yeah, we're now. so long. <laughs> yeah, and we've been doing this for yeah, an hour and 23 minutes, it says on the record. But there's a lot mm. of chaff to cut, separate from mm. the wheat or whatever the saying is. I'm not fucking dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> dictionary. <laughs> oh, also, can I just say, if you're listening this far in and you're enjoying it, Drop a review, because we had some fucking blinding reviews this week that have made my heart beam. They were so nice. <laughs> oh, just, they were so uh, bloody lovely. Yeah. Um, anyway, I don't know why I dropped that in there. You should do that at the end. So now for the final part. Yet. So now we're going to do a, uh, a game called the Honeymooners game, which is where... Um, we... <laughs> you, you never <laughs> thought we'd do it, did you? You never <laughs> thought we'd get here. <laughs> no, I said that out loud. I was like, why the fuck are we doing this? <laughs> You didn't have to call it that. You could just call it like question games or that. No. But we're gonna see is... we're gonna we're gonna see how much we know about each other. But we're gonna answer we we've both written five questions each. I've written four, but we all might get a fifth if we're lucky. And I'm gonna ask Jack a question and he's gonna write down his own answer and he's gonna write down what he thinks my answer would be, and I'm gonna do the same. So, for an easy one, um to get us yeah. started, to show us what it is, so do you have a pen and paper, whatever you're gonna write with? 
Oh, mate, I've already kind of written it down um, on mine, but yes, yeah. I need to write down yours. That's a good point. <laughs> Shit. Uh, go on, so I've got my notes up. I'll do that now. Yeah. Go on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write... Yeah, actually, we'll just be, we'll do it punchy, okay? Fuck it. We'll just go really fast through it. As an example, oh, to, for my first question... Uh, oh, no I, no, I reckon it's quite good to do an example, mate. So maybe just do, like, favourite drink. Yeah, okay, like that's that, good. Yeah, yeah. I was actually going to say that for... Mm. So, this game, the, the, we'll have one question given to us both. And the question, for example, is, what's your favourite drink? Um, now, we have to write down what we think our own... Well, not what we think. We have to write down what our own favourite drinks are. And then we also have to write down what we think each other's favourite drink is. Uh, when we ask the question, we'll reveal uh, if we're right or wrong. So, if, for example, I'm going to write down now what I think Jack's favourite beer is. And then, Jack, you write down what your favourite beer is. Yeah. And now I'm going to write down what I think my favourite drink is. And now you write down what you think my favourite drink is. Yeah. Um, so let's see if we're right. I wrote down Jack's favourite beer is beer Moretti. What did you Correct. write down? Correct. And uh, what did you write down for my favourite drink? Carling, of course. Correct. So there we go. Nectar of the guards. Do you get the game? I get the game. You get I the hope game. everyone else gets the game. You yeah, get the game. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I think it's easy enough. I think you yeah, explained yeah. it all right there. Yeah. Right. Give me a second, mate. I'm going to go down and actually, because obviously I realise now I've I've written all my questions down on what I'm going to say and what I think you're going to say. But uh, with your questions, I'm going to have to react fast. So. But yeah, that's the same with me. I, I haven't even written my own answers down yet. I'm just going to wing it. Oh, fuck it. Go on then. Yeah. Ignore all that. Then edit that yeah. shit out. There's so much. So I we're gonna have that little bit this episode. <laughs> so I know, much mate. You such an. Uh, I'll do, do it half if you want. No, no, I'll do it. It's fine. Then, but um, what was it say the um? So you've done the example there with the drink one, right? So I guess you can yeah. pick it up for me and go like, yeah. right. But I am going to say that's my first question because I don't have okay, five. So that's my first question. Fair so now you go for yours. Okay, so this is pretty tame. You know, I'm not going. I've not gone all in straight away. Uh, your favorite game of all time. It's tough, isn't it? Spanning yeah. the like, length of our lives. Yeah. All right, so I thought your favourite game of all time, Time Split, is two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did change yeah. it. I just changed it to that yeah. just before. I, I had it something else, I deleted it and changed it. Time Split 2 is my favourite game. I thought, game of I thought all time. you'd be, uh, like, I was thinking maybe Red Dead 2 oh, or something yeah. like that. Probably, yeah, but, but overall, over my 20 year, 30 year life, uh, Time Space Two is my favorite. I was thinking Red Dead doesn't have the uh, the the, come the advantage of nostalgia. You no, know? Uh, I put for you Total War Two. Close, close, my friend. But no, it's the uh, it's Mass Effect or the Mass Effect trilogy in general, basically. Nerd. Um, Nerd. <laughs> all right, similar question. Favorite movie, and I know it's hard to put like a, a definitive on it, but just go with your gut and go fast. Just think, what's your fast favorite one? Oh God! Uh, so I'm gonna write down what up. I think yours is, and I'm gonna write down what mine is. And I'm just, I'm I know just it's not like this, it especially then, you. I? You love. I didn't hear what you said. Sorry. Uh, I, no. I know you love. You are people at home. Jack is a real cinephile. Like you really, really mm. love cinema. But just go against your base best instincts and just find your favorite one. Okay. Um, I've written down the same answer for both of us, and I'm gonna say our favorite movies are Braveheart. Yeah. Basically, I put down for you, uh, I said Zulu or Braveheart. Yeah, it would have been. And for me, I said V for Vendetta or Braveheart. I I think Braveheart is fucking phenomenal. It's so good. It just, you can't beat it, can you? You can't bloody beat it. Mm -hmm. So good. It's kind of like the whole basis of this podcast. That's sort of the. That's what got our interest into that at a young, young age, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. uh, Your question? Okay, so mine was exactly the same as yours, so I'm going to skip to the next one. What was your movie, was it? Yeah, it was favourite film, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, next one. If you could only save one thing from Wales, what would it be? Mm-hmm. That's a hard and feel free to do a serious answer and a joke answer, because that's what I've okay. done. So, my joke answer? So, what, what, what mm-hmm. did you put for my, my... What did you put for me? Okay, your serious answer, I put the language... Okay. Because a, a culture always lasts if it has a language. Uh, well, some, sometimes. Um, and for your joke answer, I, I, I don't I couldn't really think of much, so I said square pizza go. <laughs> oh, so that's one of my favourite pizza takeaway places. <laughs> but my yeah. joke answer was Russell's, which is pretty close. Oh, that's a goodie, yeah. But my serious answer was there's a genuine sense of community and compassion in lots of Wales, despite 
Oh. You know, despite lots of what Wales has fought for, I think deep down every community because we're, we're, we have loads of like we're not a rich nation, and but there's still always a, a sense of like compassion and niceness in most places. You can. We're rich in friendship, my rich, friend. <laughs> friendship, rich friendship, <laughs> asset poor, um, and cash <laughs> poor. Um, and then for you, I put your joke answer was the accepted mm. alcoholism of <laughs> everyone in the country. Oh, kind of, yeah. I said Barty the rum. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, you know, in so many yeah. words, yeah, same thing. And then for you, I put the Celtic mythology. Oh, yeah, basically, I said um, uh, the folklore of Wales. Folklore, so, yeah, yeah, same thing. Mate, we're good yeah, friends. Yeah, the same thing, basically. Oh, God, we're it's, so into uh, This is a, uh, a nerdy one, for sure. Right, what... Lord of the Rings character, would you be? <laughs> you fucking loser. <laughs> Nerd. Well, I was trying, I, I went with a theme with this one. Um, well, I'd probably be Gimli. Oh, I'm so glad. Basically, I said, I in my notes I went, will he pick Aragorn because of <laughs> oh, arrogance? Yeah. No, but probably Gimli. Yeah, and I, I was yeah. thinking you go, probably Aragorn. But then, no, Gimli, I thought, you know what? He probably would go for that. Uh, salted pork eating, beer drinking. <laughs> Can I say who I think you'd be? Go on. Gambling. <laughs> Fuck's gambling? <laughs> Google it. Um, oh, is it going to be that fucking pudding face, fucker, or what? Gambling. <laughs> I don't know why this is the one that came to my mind. Oh, I know what you mean. Why him? That's no sense. <laughs> Gambling. He's, I don't even know how I know his name, but he's so you. He fights the raw warg when he comes over the, like You know, it's like above him. Oh, and he yeah. leads like his pals. Because I think he's a loyal, good bloke because he nearly arrests. Uh, oh. He's a guy who's next to fucking old... Uh, old cunt. What's old mate called? Grima. Uh, yeah, no. Um, but against the- he's next to Theoden, and he nearly arrests mm. like his son. But he's like, he, he, he's just like a loyal bloke. <laughs> I think he's an quite Absolutely insulting nobody. character. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I you put do pit for yourself. Legolas. I put that. I put, no. I put Pippin because he got oh, really excited when he saw a pint, and I thought, you know what? Pints. That is a bit of me. Yeah. Hmm? It could yeah, be. Yeah. I'm getting one. I'm like getting that, that is so me. That's very me. I'm so I know you quite well because I guess. <laughs> yeah, so I absolutely got you right, but give me, and you've yeah. just fucking <laughs> sold my friendship down the river. Um, yeah, so sorry. I think Pippin is more more your style. Thank you. Um, I'll accept the backtrack. Yeah. So second to last one. Uh, mm. I'm saying my my last one. No, this is the last one. Now, isn't oh, it? I've actually got two here that I haven't. So I've got two oh. to go. So. Would you rather the podcast get... No, no, before that. Would you rather fight with Owen Glyndur or Llewellyn in Llewellyn? I think we've got the same answers. Yeah. I Llewellyn? would say Llewellyn, yeah. yeah because the best. he was like, oh, Owen's cool and whatever, but he's, um, you know, he decided more to make rebellion because he couldn't have his own way, basically. Yeah, definitely. You know? He was more than happy to sort of go along with the, the, yeah. the tyrannical rule Honestly, while he was up high. <laughs> Oh, why it always comes up higher than Llewellyn in like the Great Britons or the Great, you know, they do like 100 Greatest Britons. Mm. You know, they do stuff like that. They always go like, oh, 100 yeah. Greatest Britons. Like, oh, why Lincoln dude, like, repeatedly has come up, come up higher. He's I think always he's, doing... he's more recent, isn't he? You know, he's, yeah, but yeah, I mean, from, by a couple of From this years, pod, but... my fucking love for how good Llewellyn was, like, he never had any bastard children. He loved his wife, like, vehemently. He didn't want to get into that battle. He was an honourable man. Yeah, and he, like, fought at the age of 62 or whatever. And he just, like... I was just going to say, he was he was a guy who fought the fight his whole fucking life and yeah. never gave an inch. And I thought, you know... And he got offered it. He got offered that. amazing terms. And he, like, he's a Oh, yeah, man. He, he could have turned an instant like a lot of uh, Welsh be, people did back then. The Archbishop of Canterbury, who tried to, like... Broker a peace deal, and he said, "Like I haven't fought all my life to sell whales down the river style stuff." And I thought, "What a fucking no, bloke!" Um, so much time for that. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd fight and I'd die. I'd fight for well. I'd not very well. No, I'd die very well for you. Mm. And my last question was, and if you haven't got any more, was oh, I've um, got one. Oh, okay, yeah, go on. Oh no, I tell you what, leave mine for last because it's, um, it's a bit of a sidestep. Uh, yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a bit of a sidestep. So, right, 
we have two options here. The podcast gets really big and we're off an exclusive mm. Spotify contract. We make a fucking shit ton of money for the year. But then you accidentally, or we both get accidentally outed as nonces. Or, <laughs> so that's scenario one. Would you choose that? So okay. this podcast gets <laughs> massive. We get given the Spotify exclusive. We make a shit ton of money. But then accidentally, the Daily Mail get out us as nonces. They backtrack a few days later, but no one cares. It's too late. We've been declared nonces. Or would mm. you rather we don't get declared nonces, but the only people who listen to our podcast are renowned nonces, or <laughs> so, <laughs> the only people who are audience? Ah, oh, Sophie's choice, the classic, yeah. the classic conundrum. <laughs> um, oh, how much are we talking with the Spotify deal? It's a mill, mill minimum. A mill? Oh, yeah. mate, I think you know my fucking answer. <laughs> <laughs> but being outed as a nonce, it would be fucking. But I'm not an actual one. I know, but they don't care. They never care. Bunch of fucking Daily Mail readers thinking I'm a nonce. Oh, fucking good <laughs> yeah, luck to them. I Daily Mail got a permeates. Mill in the bank. It permeates far and wide. The Mail Online is like yeah. still the most profitable website in the UK. Uh, that's fucking sad, isn't it? It is um, sad. But yeah, no, I'd, um, I'm going option A, man, straight away. Um, I don't want my audience. Oh, how many got? Oh, we're up. 12% this month. Oh, yeah. <laughs> More nonsense. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it paying the Patreon? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's us done now. No, no. I got one more, mate. Oh, you got one more. Come on, hit me. I got one more, right. Uh, this is, again, following on for my, uh, my last nerdy one. What member of the Fellowship of the Ring <laughs> would you fuck if you had to? Um... <laughs> So take your time. Take your <laughs> well, time. This is a big question. I think we should. We gone past the honeymooners game. I think we should just like uh, theorize these out loud. Um, okay. Oh, should think... we just go through member by member? Is that what you're saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Why? Not? Yeah. I'm I'm game yeah. for that, man. Yeah. Gimli, get the fuck. It, we, no one's shagging Gimli. I'm sorry, Gimbo. Gimbo, mate. <laughs> Gimbo. You've like... been tossed aside. I'm not to- toss. Toss <laughs> me. I'm a dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Toss me. I'm not tossing anything, mate. You're gonna have to fuck <laughs> off. Fucking off. Oh, come on. We can take him. It's a long way. Toss me. I cannot jump the distance, I have to trust me! Don't tell the elf. Not a word. Oh, well, look, uh, you know, there's, there's literally nothing to peep about him, is it? You know, like, no. fucking... You know, I don't he's know got how much this is going to be usable. Shit oral game. He's like, you know, he's oh, he fucking grim, wasn't he? <laughs> Grimly, am I, t- am I right? Grimly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Grims. You're on the, John, Johnny you Davis, just, you're on if, the fucking pile. Yeah, man. and also he's like some fucking mad right wing cunt, and he's in these. He's like viciously like. Oh, is he really? Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah, he's like mad Brexiteer or something. Oh, and like, he's I, Welsh as well. Yeah, fucking not even like, you don't have to be racist in Brexit. That's, I don't mean that, but he's just, he's really not a very nice fella. He was mm. on Question Time, and he was a bit of a prick on there. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I am talking about the characters, yeah. so I mean, also, I wouldn't fuck either of them, but still. Um, <laughs> this might be complete. We can't split this into two because if they listen to the first one, we're kind of sober. The second part of the episode oh, was so hammered. So hammered. Do you know what? You know what? Maybe the boys listening, boys and girls, whoever, yeah. will lis- will will split it themselves. You know, they'll get to an hour yeah. and go, I can't listen to it more. Yeah, Pause I agree. it. I'll listen to the rest later. Yeah, we'll I, just agree, do that. I agree. I agree. And just say it's a, f- yeah. just say it's a big old fucking episode. Yeah. Um, okay, next, uh, Aragorn, handsome lad. Uh, he's got a small todger, <laughs> so he's gonna be yeah, a little uh, Heir of heir of heir of Numenor. Why yeah. wouldn't you? But he's like eighty nine. Strider, mm. Strader, Strider. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I still think no. Um, Samwise Ganji, no. You still think you say no to you know yeah. no to Aragorn? I'm gonna be honest. We're going Why? for the elf. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Okay, like so no, no Samwise. Yeah. Samwise, he, you know, he'd give it a go. He'd try his best, but like, 
I don't know. I'm also thinking, like, is it cool to fuck a hobbit anyway? Because it's so small. So, yeah, Samwise, yeah, yeah, I think all the hobbits, bit small, bit weird. you got you got to kind of write off the hobbits, haven't you? Yeah. I'd like to but take equally, Pippin Gandalf. out on a date. I'd take Pippin out on a date, like, because he'd no, be a good laugh. I wouldn't no, go, like, do No, that's different. That's called having remember. a pint with a mate. He's not having a date having with a pint. A... Well, that's what I say when me and you go out. Go for <laughs> Going out for a date. <laughs> <laughs> um, I All right, don't so think... Hobbits are off the cards. Hobbits right? are off the cards. Fucking bin them straight away. Yeah, actually, Along with we'll, we'll keep right. Aragorn on the cards. He's still on there for now. Oh, yeah, Gandalf. keep him on the maybe pile uh, yeah. for now. Gimli gone. Dwarfs, uh, Hobbits gone. Gandalf's, oh, he'd be getting nonsense, wouldn't you? If, if he's, oh, he's, if he's, been, he's you. fucking been around a while, yeah. only he knows yeah. a trick or two, I reckon. <laughs> he does, but he I would knows. feel like, I feel like I would be groomed heavily if, if some yeah. 400 year old It's, it's his old visage, isn't it? Like, you <laughs> yeah. know, going, but what, man? you'll have a tale or two to tell when you get home, you know? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> as you're about to just, you shall not come. <laughs> <laughs> Balrog, <laughs> Borgag. <laughs> Is there anything? Oh, what? Wait, I don't no. know. Balrog, come rag. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, Jesus. Alan Franco, do not <laughs> take me from, from... I can't even finish it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's wild. Uh, who else is well, absolutely blown his means. Alan Franco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, so... Are we saying no? Are we say no to the fucking Mithrandi, are we? Jesus, you came quickly, Gandalf. <laughs> I wasn't never. It's never really. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh. That is excellent. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, my God. Oh, Christ. Um, Bar- 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 Faramir. No. What, who's Boromir. Boromir. Bit silly. I Boromir bit go. Honourable man. Yeah. Well, on one in the end, he'd get a bit nasty before it well, ended, wouldn't he? But and you then saw how well he blew that horn. How well he blew <laughs> well, the well, horn. How bad or how good he blew the horn, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm so <laughs> yeah. the Elvis there. Oh. Call, <laughs> call me the horn of Gondor, baby. That's what I'm <laughs> <saying>. <laughs> I think it was implied. I love that. Throw me. This is so going to appeal to about ten people. <laughs> oh, they're the ten that are core, though. They, they, you know, this is pure us. So we've gone beyond <laughs> yeah. what the pod intended at the moment. Yeah. Um, oh. So we've got else. We've got Far- Baromir. Oh, hang on. Mm, legless. So legless. legless. Mm, long hair. Come on, he's the most feminine. Most of feminine. Them, Beautiful cheeks. Uh, as, in, he's got, as in face cheeks. <laughs> well, you know, it was good, yeah. Um, he's fucking a bit lithe, isn't he? A bit nimble. He you could nimble. probably throw him around a bit. <laughs> a bit petite. If you, like, if, you, if you like that sort of thing, I guess. But if I'm honest, I mean, the one who you want to go for is Salmon. Salmon. <laughs> Salmon. Sal- he's not part of the fellowship. It's got to be fellowship. But I want the bad boy. <laughs> You going out, so you want the, the bad boy? You sucking yeah. for a bad boy? I could you? change him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like a project. I swear to God, I'm only going for nice guys now. <laughs> hey, look, so I did enslave a bunch, <laughs> a bunch of races or whatever. Yeah. Oh my God, oh, I'm now <laughs> weak at the knees. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I actually, I think, covered? I think, um. Uh, Legless would be a bit fucking whiny. I think I'm gonna go Aragorn. Oh, he's a bit, you know, he's very um, he's very straight laced and he's very drab. He'd be, he'd be like in fucking um, the drinking competition in the, in the films. He'd be fucking railing and go, I don't feel anything. What? Oh right, mate, Jesus. <laughs> Do you remember that bit? Oh, when oh yeah, Legless. I thought you yeah, 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 drinking yeah, competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember I that. Fucking, fucking yeah. took the wind out of my sails. <laughs> oh, Sorry, I thought you were about Aragorn. I was like, I don't remember any of this. No. Yes. All right, so let's just agree. Uh, we're going to go Aragorn. Aragorn's fucking 80 years old, and he's yeah. had some puss in his time. So, he, you know, well, I'm saying we're shagging him. So it's That's what I was going to say. Are we, are we shagging or getting shagged? Um, 
Up to you, I think. No, I think, I think we're the scenario. We get to do what we want. <laughs> I, I, I'll say we've been podding for two hours. We've gone through the looking glass. Like a few beers. <laughs> and you know what? I never intend to go through it member by member. <laughs> No. So to speak. No. Uh, all right, let's put yeah. that to a side. All we know, all we know is Gimbo Gim- <laughs> is off, is off guard. Yeah. That to a side. Let's move on to another movie franchise. Uh, I reckon we should probably pull up stuff. Either way, just, just let us know if you want us to do this thing again. I thought it was quite fun myself. <laughs> I am fucking like eight beers deep. Yeah, I fucking I am knows? deep in the cans. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry you had to listen to all of this. If you enjoyed it, like Jack yeah. said, let us know. And if you want, we'll do another little. Um, <laughs> yeah. If for some fucking sick reason you want to hear more of this, by yeah. all means, let, let us God know. God have we'll mercy upon my it. soul. Yeah, we'll produce it. But um, but if you want, if you want more of the standard history, <laughs> yeah, stuff, we'll do that next week. Uh, we'll do that too. Yeah. You know, we're we've also got we've got like I think we've got like twenty five ep- twenty five separate. Let me just double check now. But we've made a spreadsheet of episodes we're going to cover, and we got, we got a load of stuff. We got loads, pipeline, so don't think yeah. we've run out just because we can be asked for one week. Yes, yeah, so we got we got loads of episodes to go. Um, we've got series two lined up and series three. But if you've got any suggestions, we've had some people already message us with suggestions, which have been really helpful. But if you've got something you'd like to, us to cover, cause we are trying to move away from just bowel heavy stuff. Um, but let us know, and we'll, we'll try to just it. talk about our own lives, and then who we fuck in Lord of the Rings. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, that was this, the real podcast this all was, along. We, we were both a, a bit zonked, weren't we? This week? we're tired, and researching mm. it can be fucking a little bit tired. We're not tired. It's really fun, and we love it, and we feel lucky that enough people listen that we, we carry on doing it. So it's a, uh, it's just this is just a one off. So if you fucking hated this and you've gone this far, then you are ill. But. Well, our uh, our analytics will um will we'll show how well yeah. this one does. <laughs> so. yeah. All right, we're gonna have to go because this is gonna take me about fucking a week to edit down. Uh, love you, Dirk yeah. and Valen Drop us five stars if you could have gone this far. You must like us enough. So drop us five stars, please, and subscribe. Yeah, that always cheers, helps. Bit. All right, love you, love you, love you, love you. Love you.